Hi guys, it's just me. I am here to do kind of a this is how I do my hair tutorial. So if anyone has seen my hair being worn like this or kind of like the flattened down version of this, uh, I decided to hop on and show you how it's done. I do it with my flat iron and a hair clip and that is pretty much the only tools that I use. So here's what I do. So here's the starting point used for most of the times that I'm doing my hair. It'll either be pulled right back into a ponytail or maybe two ponytails. Um, I rarely, I rarely blow dry my hair just because as you can see I've already put my hair through a lot. It's just easier not to blow dry it, that way I get to keep some of it I suppose. So this is where we are. And I'm going to end up with this sweater covered in hair because that's, <laughs> that's just how it works. So I'm going to brush it out and see exactly where I'm going to go with this. I've been liking keeping all the color on one side. Boy, I feel really boring this morning. So, I am going to be curling my hair, but I'm doing it with a flat iron because that's what I like to do it with. So, okay, my trick is I part it into two pieces. My part's off to the side, so this side always ends up having more hair in it. It's more of a pain to do. So this is how I go. This is how we do it. Once I'm done this, I have to go and get rapid COVID tests for my kids. And if they're positive, then I get to go get some more. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So I put it up about to the top of the ear. Well, almost to that earring. Part all the way around to where this, this section goes away. And I usually break it into three chunks. So we'll go one, and I make sure that it's the tall way. It's a thin chunk, but it's tall. And I curl it away from my face after it's about halfway through. I try not to pinch too hard, and then I try and pull it out a bit. So then Pretty much you can do it in groups of threes. You can go thinner or thicker with the, the curls or with the sections, whatever works for your hair. For me, it depends on what I want. Some days I'll just go with the thinner one because I've got more time and I want it to be extra fancy looking or I'll go with thicker chunks just because I need to get done fast and I'm running behind. I kind of do this as my way out when I don't have time to straighten it properly or when it's getting to a length that it's just kind of, it doesn't look very good straight or completely straight or the color doesn't look very good when it's completely straight. Okay. So this section is thicker. Okay. Okay. That cat acts like he's being tortured. He's just fine. So I'm amazed at how well some of this color is sticking right up by my roots. Just because I've been uh, doing some warm washes the last couple times. Eventually it'll transition into hot washes, but I still feel guilt over that. <laughs> okay, so here we are with 
the one side mostly done. I think it looks really nice so far. Just gonna do this all like this. Oop. Certainly not the most exciting thing to watch me do. Sorry. I don't know why I'm sorry. frustrated that I'm not working today. I definitely have enough that I could do. But I'm not going to log on and do the stuff I need to do if I'm not going to get paid to do it. If I'm going to do something I'm not getting paid to do, I'll do this. <laughs> is one side done. So now we do the other side. Ooh, big surprise, right? Okay. Coffee break. Actually, one thing that I've, I said earlier is that if I hadn't known I wasn't going to be working today, I would have done my makeup on camera. Instead, you guys get this. Okay, what's this? I'm clipping it up with this. Um, I don't know, I got it at Superstore probably 15 years ago. It's just a easy little clip to keep stuff out of the way while you're working on the rest. Like, check this, check out that color. It's just sticking there. I don't understand. That's the stuff that I, like, I try and scrub that part real good. Oh, and I don't know if I said this when I first started, but whichever side I'm on, I'm always curling it away from my face. And I don't know if that's just something that I started or if I heard somewhere to do it like that. But that's how I do it makes me feel very, uh, princessy. <laughs> like cartoon princess. Oops. Yeah, so like I curl away from the face. The last little bit I try and be gentle on just so that it doesn't get as fried as possible. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mommy, can I try this thing? Can you try what thing? Uh, yeah, it's hand sanitizer, okay? Okay. So you don't eat it. You just put a little bit on your hands. It smells yummy, but don't eat it. Okay. Okay. Cucumber melon hand sanitizer. It genuinely does smell delicious. You know it. section kind of takes a bit of an extra step just because of where my part is and everything. Yeah. There we go. Okay, mommy. You're welcome. Can you go put this back on the counter? Okay. Thank you.
in the back I really don't know which way to curl it half the time so I just kind of based on which side I kind of twist it away and then comb it down with my fingers while it's hot and hope that uh, it looks good It looks even, like it looks so much better when my hair is longer, but this is how I do my hair. So it doesn't take that long and it gets so much faster the more you do it. I just like three or four layers on this side, four or five layers on this side, curls back each section. I think it's max like five across my head and that's if I'm doing it really thin and fine. It's a way that I do my hair so that I don't have to full out straighten it and be extra careful about these bumps. Usually kind of keeps things calmed down. It's not quite as harsh on it as straightening, especially with all of the uh, bleaching and stuff I do to it. Uh, one thing I recommend is always always use a really good conditioner, separate shampoo and conditioner, and a good heat protector. This is what I use. I really like it. I've been using it for, oh wow, four years, five years now. And I mean, if you've seen any of the stuff that I do with my hair on previous videos, well, that's uh, <laughs> It says a lot as to why my hair, it, the fact that my hair actually still looks good and it does actually feel good too. Like it's not all dried out and straw like. So anyway, that's how I do my hair. Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe.